I just want to know how you felt about putting yourself out there like you have, from talk show host to advocate for women's rights. How did you feel? I have to say, it's it's not scary to me. It's actually really fulfilling to be doing something that I believe in. I had these two powerful experiences. It's one slightly different than the other, and I wanted to do something that I felt would be pro-social, pro-woman, and pro-baby, and pro-midwife. So it's my it's it's thrilling to be in this, this new phase of my career that I'm not just an actor, talk show host, but I'm also an advocate. And how can we help you? Um, I think anyone who wants to get involved should they can get the movie and do grassroots screenings in their hometown. It's called thebusinessofbeingborn.com. And uh, it's been amazing, the response we've had. And there's been hundreds of screenings through the states and now all around the world. So for being down here in Sydney and just raising awareness uh, for this issue, uh, it's been incredible. And Abby and I are so thrilled to be here to share the message. You know, thebusinessofbeingborn.com, very simple. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I really think that it's important that a movie like this gets out to young women. Uh, you try and do, you know, do this stuff before you decide to have a baby so you know your choices and you become consciously aware before you end up going down that path of the cascade of intervention. I thought the film was amazing. I've been blessed to have two babies at home. It brought tears to my eyes and the most exciting thing for me is to see so many women here, so many women wanting something different from their birth experience. I thought the film was fantastic. Um, we need more information out there on home birthing compared to hospital birthing. And I actually want to encourage all men to actually get behind their partners and really research all they need to understand about their own birth, whether, whether they're going to do it in a hospital or at home. Really understand everything about it so you can be as informed as possible and then start asking questions um, when the birth comes. Okay, the movie tonight uh, was brilliant. It was total New York midwife and mothers and doctors really showing it how it is in New York and I thought it was wonderful. I don't think they should sanitise it at all. I think that uh, the way they presented it was just so full of New York energy and vibrancy and yeah their problems are much the same as the ones we've got but um, they do it differently and I really love seeing that. I love that, that they presented it to an Australian audience and uh, all power to Ricky and Abby. It was a great, great movie. I think the, uh, the movie is a, uh, was a really important tool. Um, I really like the way that uh, she documented how um, syntocin and leads into uh, epidurals and leads into um, well, the idea of syntocin and leading into epidurals which then uh, they uh, increase the augmentation again and then those babies end up in seizures is um, re um, that was really well documented I think that it's really important this whole thing of the pendulum has swung as far as it can swing and it's got to start coming back now and this whole conference is really showing us that again that there is a real grassroots need for home birth the demedicalization of birth to get it back into the into the natural again because it's so important yeah it was really good and i thought it was an excellent portrayal of the options and the consequences of the choices that women make or couples make um, when they're pregnant and um, yeah i thought it portrayed very accurately um, how important it is to look at what you're trying to, what sort of birth you would like to have, what sort of end result, and then choose your healthcare provider based on the end result. And um, yeah, no, I, th I, thought it was, I thought it was a very good portrayal of the, the different options and um, the potential outcomes.